President. President. Someone's dookie. No, no, wait, wait. What? You said someone's dookie. Oh, look at that. A little gift. Oh, man. I don't see this forever. Oh, my God. Put it on this. Wow. Mr. Blue, I need to write a whole lot. They had these hats back in my day. Back in my day. Back in my day. Not my first job. My first job, I was a dishwasher. At age 15, and I had one of these hats, and I had to wear a hairnet. That's the first time, my first experience with a hairnet. They got those back in our days, too, Mr. Blue. It was nasty. It was at the uh, town crier. I don't think they're in business anymore. And then, and then, like years later, that town crier got bought up by, by bought out by Perkins. Perkins, it's a Perkins restaurant there, and my parents loved going there because they have memories of me like working there. They, it's exactly the same building except they just changed the signage. Well, oh, that brings back memories. So, who works at Waterburger? Is it Ezekiel? Yes. Who works at Waterburger? Max, Max does. Yeah. 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 You got you got those hot dogs too, right? Hot dogs. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Freddy's got the hot dogs. Best 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 so does Freddy. Best Freddy's best got like Chicago style hot dogs. Oh. I gotta I gotta tell you, man. The last time I was at Whataburger. I got to leave that heart. Oh, if I don't work there, after what, what is it? The firehouse is so bad that the, the general investor don't fire. Well, how, how did you get this? You, you, you stole it? Yeah, just the guy. So now you, you can't, you don't spell no, your I, name right, and you're a thief, huh? Wait, that's actually bad. Well, you bad. I want to bring so bad. All right, I'll put that on the lamp. Water burger on the lamp. Okay. It's like there's gonna be so much crap in here by the time I I leave. They tell it they're not gonna be able to fit me into another room. So they're talking about moving me to a different room next year. Do you need an autograph, Mr. Blue? Do I need? Oh, should I get an autograph? The whole class autograph. Yes. Uh, uh, do it. Okay. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. All right, go ahead. Um, why don't you pass the Whataburger hat no, around, and you guys can all autograph it. So I'll remember, I'll remember my fourth period. Okay, so we've looked at this. We've talked about manipulation of, of plurality methods. And sometimes it is it is manipulable, and, but it's not, it's not truly manipulable. In our notes, it stated when we talked about this, that plurality method, technically, according to the definition, that plurality vote voting is not manipulable. But if you have a group of voters or a block of voters acting together, they can manipulate the plurality method. And then we have a clear definition of group manip manipulability. It's when a group together changes their ballots, they can determine a new winner for that second outcome of the election. Now, remember, when we're talking about plurality voting. We're only looking at first place votes. We're only looking at first place votes, right? There's no runoff. There's no second round. It's one round. We, we, we count first place votes. The one with the most votes wins. So, you guys got to remember that we've got different looking preference schedules. Some of you guys look at this and are counting these as one vote. Well, these are multiple votes here. This is 22 votes, 23 votes. These columns are multiple voters, all right? So again, we're only gonna look at this first place vote. That's whose vote we count. So we first gotta figure out who wins this. So I have candidate D, candidate H, and candidate J. Here we go. So D's got 22 first place votes there and 23 first place votes. So 22 plus 23. Candidate H has 15 first place votes and 29 first place votes there. So 15 plus 29. Candidate J has seven first place votes and four first place votes. So these are the totals, and then we just got to add them up. We just got to add them up. So D has got 45. H has got 44, J has got 11. So who wins the election? Yeah, he does. 
45 is the most votes. What I did? Oh, sometimes I just get close to it and want to do it. Yes. <laughs> All right. So who's happy here? Oh, right there. We got 22 voters and 23 voters that are happy. They're not motivated to change this election because they got their first choice. You got a packet, Isaac? You don't have your workbook? This is page 14, I think. So, well, who's not happy? Everybody else is not happy. Everybody else is not happy. H and J are pissed. Yeah, they're like, what the, what the fuck? Oh, These two guys are really not happy. This is their last choice candidate. They're really not Jay happy. Is, Jay is really sad right now. Because guys, no, remember, remember game theory when we talked about rationality. A player or a voter in this particular, you can think of a voter as a player. A voter is not going to willingly choose their last place candidate. And here they got their last choice. I mean, that really stings. Usually people, usually voters and players are real passionate about their first place choice and their last place choice. But like the in-between choices are kind of like a coin flip. So these guys, these two are really upset well let's look at what they can do first of all look at the size of the group now if you take 29 voters away from <laughs> h are you gonna make a difference no they can't do anything they already voted for the runner-up and can't give the runner-up any more votes right so the only thing you can do is they can divert those votes to their second choice and if they add 29 votes to to their second choice candidate j what's candidate j's total going to be 29 plus 11 is 40. they still come up short you see they're motivated but their second place candidate can't win it either so there's nothing they can do plus think about it Having 29 voters agree together collectively to change or manipulate their vote, it's going to be hard for us to decide. It's like, it's like if I asked all of you, you're about 28 students, if I asked all of you, okay, what, what movie are we going to watch today for class? Well, you guys, I get 20, I'm probably 29 different answers, right? You guys aren't going to agree on one movie. Same deal when you're looking at candidates in an election. The more players, the more voters you have, the more complex it is to make a decision. So that's one, another way I would argue from not going with the 29 voters. First thing, they're just gonna take votes away from our runner up. And second, it's such a large group, they're not gonna agree together what to do, what the strategy would be. So let's look at what the seven voters can do. Well, the seven voters, they voted for Jay. And Jay got hopelessly crushed in this with yeah, only 11 votes. So what they could do, what what, what votes could they do? They, well, they could lose Jay to H. They could boost their, their first place choice. choice to their second choice. They could swap out H and J. And there's only seven voters. You think they could agree that that's a good strategy because they would rather have their second place candidate win over the last place. So that's who we're gonna that's who we're gonna manipulate. So how does this work? You bring someone new from the to the top of one of the columns. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the group of voters. Uh, right okay so this is their second place vote and, and note that their choice i gotta make this note who they who they prefer 
over the over the present winter over the winter. So you got to move, be able to move someone on top who they prefer more than the one who won the contest. If you don't have that, then then, then it's it's a silly move. They're not going to move their last place choice up just so that the winner loses because they're going to be worse off. Okay, so let's let's change it. So everybody else is going to be the same. So this voting block is going to be DHJ. The 23 voting block is going to be DHAH. The 15 voting block is going to be HDJ. The 29 vote voting block is going to be HJD. And this is the one we're going to manipulate. We're going to move H up to the top, and we're going to drop our first choice down to second, and D is still going to be our last choice. And then this four voting block, we're going to leave that where it is. Okay. So now we, we do the runoff again. We do this runoff again. Well, I, I call it a runoff. We do the second, the second election after we've manipulated it. I need more moving in. So let's look at this. So you got the same HJD, same candidates, and we're gonna count the votes. So again, we're only looking at first place votes with my highlight though. And we're looking at first place votes. So D has 22 and 23 first place votes. H now has 15 plus 29 plus seven first place votes. And then J now, we took seven votes away from J, so they have only had four now. Now we add up these totals. This is still at 45. Who's my winner? H. H is. Your second choice candidate won the contest. So now we got seven more happy voters. Make sense? Are we only doing the first place votes? What's that? Are we only doing the first Yep, we're only counting first place votes. This is plurality method. This is plurality method. Make sense? All right. All right. I know we can practice problems. That's the notes. Now we're going to do some of the practice problems. Woo! All right. So I'm going to start on page 15. This one. This one. Now there's a there's an assignment in the module. So you guys can take four pictures of your workbook and submit it online. Show me your oh, notes. Show me your I my mind, bro. practice problems. <laughs> Um, it'll, it'll go away tomorrow. It'll go bye bye tomorrow. It'll close tomorrow. So do it. It's just a homework grade. What? It's in the module. It's, it's in the module yesterday. If you go to yesterday's date, you'll see it in there. It should be assigned to you, right? It's an assignment. It's a it's a quiz. It's a homework check quiz, and it's just four pictures. So you can you can take the picture of page one and two, right? Cook. Take a picture. What? Take a picture of three and four. Cook. Mark, you guys want to do a video? What kind of camera are you using? Android. Uh, a thumb camera. Cook. Don't you guys all have thumb cameras? What? So if you want to do a video, you can you can you can page. That's what I, I have a few KVA kids that do that. They'll just take a video and they'll slowly show turn the pages. Don't do one of these things. Don't stand it on me. I can see Isaac. Here's, here's my homework. I did it. He got it. So, and, and that's a homework grade. Okay. So notice, I haven't given you anything. The only thing I give you is like reviews for tests, and I'm not going to give you a review for the test next week. So why I'm missing homework tests because your Monday test is going to be a in class project activity. Okay. And you're gonna turn it in with, with one of your partners, okay? We're not gonna have a test. We're not gonna have a test review. So let's look at this. So four to count. How many candidates do I have? Three. Three. So what's the first place vote get? Two. Two. One, zero. So N minus one. So now first thing, 
they're asking the question, why can't voter one manipulate this election if voter count is being used? Well, first we've got to see what's going on. We got to see who's winning and who's happy, who's not happy. And then we got to evaluate what they can do or what they can't do. So I got candidate C-A-R, car. So C has got one first place vote and then two zeros. So that's two points for C. Candidate R has a third place vote, that's zero. But then it's got two and one, that's three. And then A, candidate A has two second place votes, which is two plus one first place, which is four. So you guys see that R1? Yeah. Their four the score is the biggest. No, isn't it? It's an A1 is four. Oh, yeah. I missed up? Oh, I, I, I mismatched. Yeah. Sorry, I said it, but I put it in the wrong column. You were just I am a Grover. I'm a Grover. Like, I wrote it in pen too because I trust you. You trust me? I got to keep you on your toes. I'm running through this kind of fast because I want to get through it. Wow. No, trust you. Go forward. We didn't, we didn't get really started on time. We had two distractions. We had some people come in party. So <laughs> they kind of they kind of got us started a little late. I, I did. I, I did. But that, that just did. I get I, I'm easy, it's easy to get me off track. See, now you've done it again. Now, now I'm giving you another explanation. So maybe I do it on purpose. Yeah, you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you have ADHD. Man, maybe. What's up, Chikari? What's up? Get to class, man. Get it done. <laughs> this is one of those days. I don't have, we really don't have a lot to do. I had a question. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you guys know we're doing practice problems right now, right? I'm just doing practice problems with you. I gave you, I gave you the information you came for. You're all dismissed. Y'all can go home now. Look at that Lord Nobody caught that. Nobody caught that. I just missed class. Nobody got up and left. Oh, you said right here. Natalie, you do not look like this guy. What do you guys want to do? Tell me. Be, be, be truthful. You want to watch a movie, don't you? You want to go home? Okay, go ahead. I've done everything I need to do. You guys, this will be all on uh, Canvas, the, the solutions. It's not the hair, it's the chin. It's the chin. <laughs> I'll give you another 30 seconds. Get it out of your system. Stab himself over, right? I know. Stab yourself over. Zoe, you got any questions for me? You got this? You got this, right? When you want to take the quiz? Take the quiz. Zoe. Let me know when it works for you. Darden, you got this stuff, right? Tell me when you want to take the quiz. All right? So let me finish this. So my winner is candidate A. So who's happy? A. A. Oh, candidate A is happy. But what voters, what voters can have happy? Voter three. Voter three. You, they're, they're elated. They're gonna celebrate. Their first choice candidate won. Okay, so who's not happy? Well, they're not that upset. Voter one and voter two got their second choice. Okay. Well, who who's the runner up? So A one. R. Well, R is my runner up, and what's the difference? One. And then C is two away. Okay. So C would need two boxes moved minimum to create a tie. Remember, having a tie is your last choice option. If you want to trade, create a tie and a train wreck, no decision, you can do that. But they, they only got their second place vote. So they might be motivated to manipulate this election only if they could get their first candidate to win. When you see that voter one, can only can't give any more votes to, to candidate C because candidate C is already at the top of their of their preference table. And they can only drop candidate A one one place. And to drop the candidate one place, they're going to give R their least favored candidate a point. 
and then Kenny that R is going to win. Now I told you that no rational player, no rational voter is going to willingly choose their last choice. So they're motivated, but they they don't like what the outcome is going to happen. So they're not going to change or manipulate their vote for board account. You guys see that? Yeah. That's the answer. That's the answer. Voter one would not manipulate this because then they end up something they can do if they move candidate A down, then their last choice candidate wins the outcome. Okay. So could you say no matter what, he could not get his guy to win? He can't do it, but he can create a tie. He can do a tie. Is that would no, that would make it win because it would take one away. It would take one away there and add one. So the, the, then the then it would be four or three. And R would win. R would win. You're moving R up, taking a point away from A and giving it to R. Candidate R. That's not rational. Their last choice candidate would win the outcome. All right, number two. We do this fast. How many candidates? So, how? What's my points? Yes, yes. I have a pencil. Okay, first thing you got to do is you got to look at who won the first election. You got to look at the sincere ballot. The first one's always the sincere one. You got to look at who won it. So, M. Well, there's zero. But we have to do more board accounts. We do board accounts. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I really do board accounts. Well, this is easy. If we do it this method, just just add them up as as they're on the preference table. You only got five voters. They won't take as long. So zero, two, zero, three. That's five now. Plus one is six. Look at that. We did we did that. Oh, is that exciting? A little bit. And now N. And three plus one plus two plus two plus zero. This is eight. Good, man. Well, now oh, you man up. Tardy? Now you can play in some more. Okay. Oh, oh, two zero three zero two. That's seven, right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You, you, you keep it up, Isaac. Yeah, yeah you with me? I don't see those pages open. He's on that. Right? Dad's chilling. He's, he's listening to his, his own world. Like that. I'm trying to remember the artist. Who oh, said the, the Taylor? Taylor Swift. Hey, Tian, you you listen to Taylor Swift? Are you chilling? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you are, aren't you? You're in, you're in the Taylor Swift. Like, little country. Like, no? Uh, oh. I don't, I don't like it. You don't? Wow, well, just down. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> can I do one? One, three, one, one, three. Ooh, that's a lot of points. That's, that's one, four, five, six, Seven. nine. Nine? Oh, yeah. So, who wins? <laughs> He does. Push a P. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I got to go get it. <laughs> They're gone now. It's too late. What? Okay, so what? who won? Well, candidate P did. So who's happy? Voter five. I two. Voter two and voter five are going to celebrate tonight. They're going to have a burger at Whataburger. Because that's their that's the best place for hamburgers, right? So now who's not happy? Oh, voter four M N and O. So voter one, voter three, and voter four are all not happy. Okay. So who let's recognize who's our runner up? Who's the runner up? Hey, leave his arms alone, N is. So what's their difference? It's just one point. Except for these two. So we got to move at least two boxes. 
for there to be a difference. So we got to move two boxes for there to be an upset. So we can upset the winner and have the runner up win. Now, candidate O is also within striking distance. They're, they're only two away. They're only two away. We could have an outcome where, where candidate O could, could, could be the upset. Well, let's look. Well, candidate O is at the bottom of point four. So they're not gonna they're not gonna vote, they're not gonna vote for, for candidate O. What about candidate N? Well, candidate N's right there. That's the second choice candidate for candidate four. There could be a tie, but remember ties are no decision. There's no decision with a tie. That's the last resort strategy that's the strategy that you know what if i can't have my way you can't no, have your way any, any either right that's the poverty strategy that you have right? that's the, the, like if I, if I can't have my way i can't have your way it's kind of like saying well i don't want to get tardy pass okay. like i don't want to get i don't want to get in trouble i don't want to get detention because i don't want to get tardy pass you don't want detention to come on class on time i'm sorry what about it Oh. Oh, All right. I like huh? I like <laughs> I'm confused. You guys want to just chill? No. Let's get to work. Game shut up. All right. Show so you shut up. So voter one could draw P and create a train wreck. Voter one could drop P and create a tie, but that's the last resort. Let's see what else voter three can do. Well, voter three could drop P one. He could push a piece. I'm sorry, that, that, that expression has a history. I just I'm not I'm not on board with the with the with the song. Not on board? Wait, did you listen to the song? I'll play it. Gotta, I heard of the song. No, no, I play. think he's play. playing you because how do you change how do you change the meaning of something just by writing a song? He, he's in he's into this gangster stuff too, just like y'all. I don't think this is uh, I don't think this is a key. I don't think this is a key. There's some swear words in there. There's some swear words in there, man. Wait. Oh, you're getting in trouble. Oh, no. You're getting in trouble. Hey, guys, they're on the knees. Yo, what? I don't think that's rated G. That's yeah, not no. classroom appropriate. Yeah, right. Yeah, Gabe, come on. Get out. 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 Get if your boss asks you, like, hey, Miss, I'm pushing me. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> oh, hey. <man. laughs> you know that you're fired. Oh, God. He's <laughs> like, push your shit out of school. <laughs> All right. So, voter one can't change the outcome. Vote O, his second choice vote, is even worse off. All he can do is create the train wreck. All he can do is create the tie. So, voter one can do a tie. Voter three, well, he's always too far back. He would, he, he's not going to make enough difference to, to have candidate O win. So if he decides to, to give his second choice candidate the first vote, then something could happen. Here. All right. He's moved the runner up, up one, which is a box. And he's moved the winner down one, which is another box. So he's moved the players to boxes. Now, Voter four can do the same thing. Voter four can do the same thing. I'm just gonna do this. All I need to do this is for one of the voters to make vote. So this guy is not gonna change their vote. And I didn't choose voter four. I choose I chose voter three. And we're not gonna have a group manipulation. This is just manipulability. It's one voter. So now let's do the runoff. Let's wait, do the second wait, vote. Why couldn't why could it? And P just go down to M. M goes to P. Why wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Where? On the three. Isn't there only like P did go down to M. Yeah, but why couldn't you just stay like P M switch and that's it? Because that's only one box. We yeah, have a tie. Two boxes is it? 
Timing. We well, have a tie. I mean, he could do that, but he's got an opportunity to, to, to get a preferred candidate to win the outcome over the first winner. Hey, she's so gonna happy to become the target now. Yeah, you can't come target. Would that be a lesson? Two? You're right. Just blue. So I moved two boxes. I moved candidate and the runner up up one box, and I moved the winner down one box. Okay. So now when I run this, I'm gonna do it the same way I did before. So we get back to my highlighter, and I'm just gonna add up M. Well, there's zero. There's two. There's one. There's three, and there's one. So what is that? Two, three, six, seven. No, oh, M's got seven. Well, you know what? Did I create a tie? No, Ann's got eight. Let me see you. Let's see what happened. We might have a tie for seconds. So now we're going to look at N. P wins again. Does it? Yeah, they're scanning. Man, P just. Okay, so Ann's got three, four, seven, nine. P has eight. Nine. Wait, what? Ann's got nine. Three plus. That well, yeah, Pete's got, got one less. Pete's gonna have eight. That's right. But Ann's got nine. Ann's got one more. We moved him up one. That makes sense. So now we're gonna look at candidate O. Well, there's two, zero, two, that's four, another zero, another two, that's six. So O's got six. And then P, Gabriel's candidate P, got Let's one, go. got three, got zero, got one. Damn. And that's five, that's eight. So who won? And almost, almost. You almost got it, bro. Yeah, but, but we manipulated it. So we got one last vote. Oh, no. And then we get one more vote to N. See, N was at eight. He was at nine. So they just kind of swapped their leads. So this works. So now with N, we've got, they're happy. They're okay. And then voter five is He's not is really. He's suicidal. And now he's pissed. Now he's motivated to do something. You're right, Ben. Right. Yeah, he's going to right. for five. That's it. Can we do the last one by ourselves? And like we check it? Yeah, why don't you guys start this one? I'm going to do attendance. Wait, you can go back up. I'm going to go back up. It's because you're too busy. Start on this one. First thing you want to do is you want to figure out who wins the sincere one. And then you want to manipulate it. Identify who's motivated. Okay. And then who can do it. And then I'm going to do the attendance. And then we'll go through it. And we are on activity schedule, and we are out of here, fourth period, at 42. That doesn't take a long time. Oh, yeah. 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 Rebecca's not here. No wonder we were so off. We need her. We needed her to stay and stay help us keep stay on task. That's, who's Rebecca? You don't know your classmates' names in here? For shame. Garza's is not here. She would have helped us stay on track too. And show what show, show what show what a Melanie. Melanie would have kept us on track. I don't know anybody whose name. Oh man, you guys gotta talk to each other. All right. All right, who won? Who won that election? A, A won it.
A1 was nine. Yeah. So board account, I got five candidates. So four, three, two, one, zero. Really only nine? There's four. Yeah, two. it's still be nine. Yeah, it's nine. So it's nine, five, seven, four, five. Nine. Five. So you said B's got seven, three. Five. B's got five. Seven. seven. Four, oh, C's five. got seven. So two, three, seven. D's got what? Four. Four, yep. How much food does he got? Yeah. He's got five. So who won? Hey. So who's motivated? Uh, who's happy? Two and three are motivated. Okay, so can they do anything? So their first choice E is not in contention. Order D is not in contention. They can't, they can't help E or D make a difference. No, you're not going to manipulate voter one. He got his, he got the, 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 the candidate's choice, his first choice. That's not going to happen. Do you manipulate three? They're going to manipulate three. Because you, C is my runner up, and I can drop A more than two points. I can two boxes, I can drop in three boxes. But what you got to be careful of is that candidate, um, runner up candidate B is, is two points away. So you can't give B too many more points, you can't give B any more points. You got to be careful how you do this. So you have to you put A all the way down. Though? So I would do an A all the way down and then move everybody up one. Because if you give B three points, he's going to be threatening. He's going to tie C. He's going to tie C. You see, if we swap this, then we and then we add three points to, to candidate D. Okay, you'll get a you'll get a tie there, and you don't want a tie. Okay. So that's the manipulated vote, and everybody else is going to be the same. We really didn't get very much done. Wow, we got to get serious. We got to buckle down. We got to buckle down. All right, my hat. Cool. Now I got a story. Yes, ma'am. Sure. 